right, so we're still in Unit 15, and we're going to talk about how you use um, the personal and the uh, reflexive pronouns, but also we, are, we have one last class of pronominal forms to introduce, which are the so-called possessive adjectives. Um, there's a list of them in the book on page 444. There's emos, eme, emon. You want to write these down. Emos, eme, emon. Sos, se, son. Um, he meteros, he metera, he meteron. And sos, sos, se, son. Okay. Sos, se, son. Son, yep. And then humeteros, humetera, humeteron, and he meteros. He metera. It's going oh, to be an alpha. alpha yeah. Yep. Oh, we're in Ionic Greek. He metera. Ionic, <laughs> Ionic, rather. Yeah, uh, you yeah. want to get rid of the Jeez. epsilon there. Yep. And he meteron, humeteron, rather. So you can see this is who <laughs> yeah. and H U M and then the he met teros is the first person plural one. You want to do that, write that too? He met teros. Oh, yep. So the last two are composed of the stem of the plural of, of the personal pronoun we and you, you all, along with the suffix uh, teros, which we've seen recently and for example, the word heteros, which means him, mm -hmm. and teros means as opposed to something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we're going to learn about this suffix later on, but it's the same suffix, for example, you have in English words like better, T-E-R. It's the comparative suffix, good, better, best, smart, smarter, smartest, mm -hmm. okay, that T-E-R suffix. But we call it comparative, but it's really contrastive, right? It's one as opposed to another. So, for example, in Greek and Latin, the words for right and left have that suffix. They're not. It's, so the words for the word for left is uh, skyopteros, and uh, the word for right is dexiteros. So it's right as opposed to left, mm -hmm. and left as opposed to right. So they're apposition, oppositional suffixes, right? And the whole system of pronouns is built on positions. So these words correspond to the commonest way in which we express possession in English, which is with adjectives. Amos means by, mm -hmm. sos means your, humateros means your plural, and hemateros means our, okay? Um, however, they're relatively rare in Greek, okay? And the standard way in which you express possession is by using um, the, the pronouns. Actually, the word Emos comes from the genitive of ego, if you think about it. Mm. It's just of me, okay? Mm -hmm. And then it evolved into an adjective, <laughs> okay? So the regular way you say my in Greek is the book of me, okay? Um, and the way, way, regular way you say your is the book of you, okay? And you use un, unstressed, you can use stressed if you want, but unstressed mm -hmm. pronouns in predicative position, okay? The The... The possessive adjectives, emos, sos, humeteros, and hemeteros, occur in attributive position. In other words, there has to be an article preceding them um, and not the noun, okay? But the, the regular and the common way of doing it, this survives up until this day, okay? In modern Greek, you, you, you use mu and su as, a, as possessive adjectives all over the place, okay? So it's such a, a very strong pattern here, all right? Um, and, and so you have a contrast between attributive and predicative position. You have a contrast between the co most common and the less common ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. But the possessive adjectives go in attributive position. The possessive pronouns, which is the genitive of the pronoun, it could be mu, su, or the genitive of you, plural, and us, okay? He mon and he and who mon, okay? Those are the regular ways and the really common ways in which you say my or your. In, in Greek, in ancient Greek, as an as an adjectival form for us, but as a pro, as the genitive of pronoun in Greek. Okay, um, you can also do for third person case in third person possession, you can use the demonstrative adjective hutos, which then goes in attributive position. So you say the the book of this person hatutu, or tatutu biblion. Okay, tatutu biblion in attributive position. Um, 
And by contrast, you can also use the third person pronoun that goes, uh, you say, ta biblion autu, okay, which never goes in an attributive position, which it has to be in a predicative position. So it's just like the difference between the possessive adjectives and the genitives of the, possess of the personal pronouns to designate possession. When you want to say, um, my own, okay, this is use the reflexive pronoun as an adjective, okay, it also goes only in attributive position. So if you want to say, my own book, the book of me, myself, you say, ta am out tu biblion, okay? You remember, that's a noun, so it has to be a genitive, um, and it works like that. And that's basically it. You can use that in a different, for, for my, my own book, or your own book, or their own book, mm -hmm. in various forms. But that's how you do possession in ancient Greek. Okay.